uh, George Metropolis here, and this is the Metropolis 12,000 series replica of a 1968 100 watt Marshall Super Lead. And what I want to do is just sort of illustrate a few of the features, the things. There's there's two things that I deviate from the original on that uh, I'd like to explain. <clears throat> the first thing is the power switch is a three-way switch. In the middle is going to be your off position. And what happens is, if you flip the switch up, it's going to be standard operation, about 480 volts on the output tubes. That's going to be operating as normal. And if you switch it down, that's what I call the virtual variac mode. And that's going to drop the voltages in the amp. Everything scales down, and the plates see about 390 volts then. And what happens, you hear the distinct variac effect where the uh, everything gets a little softer, a little more saturated, sort of squishy, and the feel changes a bit. Let's turn the volume up. So you can hear that the uh, the saturation changes, the field changes a little bit. Uh, tend to play it in the variac mode. The other thing that I'm doing on this, it's a brand new feature, is on my original 68, there's a very large bright cap value. It's 5,000 picofarads, which means that as soon as your volume's up on about two or so, the amp's very bright, lots of upper mid-range and highs, uh, really aggressive, nothing really subtle about it. On this amplifier, the volume one control is a push pull, and once it's pulled out, the bright cap is engaged. So it's just like the, the 68. You hear that the amp is real spanky right out of the gate. This is on about uh, three. Uh, very bright, no question about it. So if you push it in, what it does is disconnect the bright cap, and now it's more balanced, sort of low to mid to high. Take away all that upper mid-range sort of uh, emphasis, and uh, it's just more balanced, a little more organic sound. And as you bring it up, you can still get all the... much Marshall and still very much all those overdriven tones are there but just not, not as aggressive. Um, I would stop short of saying that it makes it more of a super bass type of amp but it, it goes a long way towards getting to that sort of flatter response. So and now here is uh, everything is on five and I'll go back and forth with the bright cap in and out. then when you turn the, the volume control all the way up, the, by, the uh, bright cap should be bypassed, shouldn't really make a difference, but what you find is that there is some nuance there that actually does behave a little differently. So here's volume on 10 with the switch in so the bright cap is out. but there's something there. So uh, those two features, virtual variac, switchable bright cap, two things just to make the 
12,000 series, a little more versatile, cover a little more of those iconic sort of martial tones. <laughs> for my attempting EVH. Thanks a lot.